as I can. If you've got a budget, how many wraps can I take of this before I hit the end? I don't want to come up short. I'd rather have a little extra than to come up short. And evenly space your wraps. And you see what the feather's doing? Come on, make the noise. Ooh. Thank you. Okay. It was worth the trip. <laughs> <laughs> See what we're doing? There's your fuzz. As, and the, the feather tends to twist, I keep twisting it back. I learned early on on a fishing trip when the fish weren't biting one time, the guy that took me on the trip said, we tied, we sat up one night having, I'm sure it was ginger ale, uh, <laughs> and tying flies before we went out the next day. He was tying lily bars, and I'm saying, what's he doing? Because I was he said, the uglier, the better. And he was the only one to catch fish the next day. Ever since then, the uglier, the better. As I get closer to the front, I like to put my wraps a little closer together. I see they getting a little wacky. Mm -hmm. I push them back. Make another turn. So I like a little collar up front. Now I'm up to where my thread is. That's as far as I want to go. Hold it in the right hand. Reach under with the left. Come around. Looks like a mess.